Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on? This is Eddie Harvey from TradeWithDev.com. Hey, guys, I want to talk to you about a Forex sell limit. Uh, so what a sell limit is, guys, is when an order is placed above price and then price goes down. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Uh, there are four type of uh, orders that you can put in. Well, I, I guess uh, six. You can put in a a uh, buy, which is through market execution, or a buy stop or a buy limit, or you can put in a, just a sale, just sell through market execution or do a sell stop or a sell limit. So I'm going to talk about sell limit really quickly. Now I talked about is when order when an order is placed above price and then price goes down, and that's when it activates. So let me give you a prime example, okay? Let me give you a prime example, and I'm going to do it with uh, what's already happened here. Okay, so let's just say, let's just say here, uh, I put in an order at, uh, let's say I had a, a, a sell order in at 62.33, okay, right here, 62.33, if I put a sell order in. Now, what's going to happen is, and I put it in when I saw price was coming up, right, it was moving in the uptrend. And let's say I had, based on my analysis, I knew price was going to get to this level, and then it was going to hit a level of resistance and then drop back down. So I put in a sell limit. So what will happen is, once price broke through here, and then price decided to move back down, then price would be activated for a sell limit. So here's what it looks like. I'm going to take this uh, line here, and let's just say my price was here. And just like the candles here, this is it breaking through. It broke through. And then after it broke through, once it goes back down like that, boom. That's a sell limit. So this is what a sell limit looks like. It goes up. You got price right here. Price is, uh, but I, I placed it uh, when the candles were, let's say, down here. So let's say if it was down here. And based on my analysis, I say, okay, I'm going to place price right here because I know it's going to hit this level somewhere and then shoot back down. So, boom, once this candle was formed, this one was formed, boom, it shot up, then boom, it shot back down like a boomerang, kind of uh, well, upside down check marks, like what I, want, what I like to call this. This is what a sell limit looks like, and then price is activated from there. Okay, so that is a sell limit, guys. Really quickly, short video, just sharing with you what it is. Again, a sell limit is when uh, an order is placed above price. So if price was here and I placed my order here and then an order is placed above price and then price goes back down. OK, so order here, boom, placed above price, price broke through it, which is the candles. Then the candles drop back down and price drop back down. My sell limit would activate it right here. So a lot of people like to use sell limit sometimes, guys, if they have an uh a hunch on what they think the pair is going to do. They might put a sell limit in like when they're getting ready to go to sleep or if they're busy. So that way, if they know the trade is going to do what they're expecting it to do, they won't miss out on it. All right. So that's the sell limit uh, for Forex. Hope you all received some value from this. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you did like it and got value from it, do me a favor. Hit the like button, guys. If you want to hear more from me, see more of my videos, simply subscribe to my channel. All right. With that being said, guys, thank you so much. If you want to learn more about sell limits, buy limits, all of them, uh, anything related to Forex, learning how to trade Forex, and also getting access to education and tools to help you earn, go to tradewithed.com for more information. Thanks for your time. Talk to you later. Have a great day.